Greetings and hello, it's me again. Look at, I've just arrived at work. I'm going to talk about transportation today. So yes, being in the city sometimes means traffic, but I can beat most of the traffic on this handy dandy little moto. What I like about it is that it's electric, so I can just charge it at home with a regular plug. Also, um, what I like is that this version, this type of bike here, I don't require a license in Costa Rica um, and I don't require Reteve or what's now called, uh, I can't remember, I'll put it in the comments, but the company changed over. But basically, if you don't know about um, insurance or anything like that in Costa Rica, you do need a license. Your license is only valid for your duration of your visa unless you've gone through the residency process then you can have your license switched over it's not a difficult process to a costa rican license and then you have no problem driving here if you're living here long term but this lovely electric does not require me to have the license and like i said it doesn't require um reteve which i think is called darka or something now anyway i'll put it in the comments but um, that means it's uh, every year a vehicle goes through a process of um, uh, of uh, certification. So like cars need to have pass certain uh, emission levels. You know they're going to check brakes, alignment, lights, make sure you have seat belts. And every year um, you have a little sticker that says the date that you need that renewed and then you have to go to this special it's quite fancy building and they check all that and then you get your little sticker says you're good to go you also need to have the insurance which you can look at my ins video where i talk about insurance you can get that at ins or annually you pay a basic driving insurance in costa rica you can get uh, additional like if you want theft or other things but everyone is required to have the basic machermo and that you renew every year um, at the new year and you can pay that at um, the BCR I also have a banking video that talks about places where you pay those types of things Banco Nacional and BCR sometimes places that you pay government organizations so you can go to INS but that can be a long lineup or you can go to the BCR if you miss the time frame in which you can pay it then you do have to go to ends to pay that anyway that's transportation i'm arriving at work and uh, if you have any more questions you know who to ask and follow us on make costa rica home